Welcome, I'm Becca Peters and I'm a licensed clinical social worker and a teacher of mindfulness, meditation and compassion. Today we're going to talk about releasing tension in the body and in the mind. We know that tension holds in the body, the muscles and the tissues, and a great antidote to that is movement. So it's really important that we spend some compassionate time with ourselves each day, releasing tension not only in the mind, but also releasing tension in the body. And studies show us within just six weeks of a practice of movement or exercise, that we start to see a different brain. We almost immediately post-exercise feel more optimistic and self-confident. So today I would like to guide us through a few gentle practices of compassionate movement and a compassionate body scan. So let's begin with the compassionate movement. You can be seated on the floor such as I am or in a chair, really just going to spend some time beginning with our shoulders. It's really a way of giving ourselves some love. So sort of what I say to myself as I'm practicing com compassion and movement. Moving your hands overhead, gently waking up your system, stretching the side bodies, You can do whatever feels good to your body. You can follow me, or you can intuit what it is that your body needs. Flexing the spine, taking gentle care of your neck, you might even notice a sense of an awe. you gently and compassionately move your body. We're all sitting a lot during the day, so we can begin with a little gentle touch, massage of the legs, shaking them out. Just really greeting your body, thanking it for all the work that it does all during the day. You might already notice that your breath has deepened, that your heart rate has picked up. These are the signs that you're activating the parasympathetic nervous system and feeling better, feeding ourselves positivity and optimism. So let's move from the gentle movement down to the mat where I'll guide you with a gentle body scan. You don't have to have these props. If you have a pillow, it can be helpful to put a pillow under your knees to take the stress off of your lower back. So you can lie down on the bed or sofa, use whatever props you have. And you'll find yourself on your back, feeling supported. And we often say to let your shoulders roll out so the palms of your hands are facing up. We'll take a few deep breaths, allowing your body to feel heavy on the mat or the floor beneath you. At every pressure point, allowing your body to just sink in a little bit more and be supported by the earth. It can be helpful to start with the top of the head, allowing your head to rest even more heavily onto the floor cushion. Moving down to the next pressure point of shoulders, relaxing the shoulders, feeling fully supported. Moving down to the belly, the lower back, Feeling your, feeling your sits bones, your buttocks. 
As you exhale, really releasing. And feeling your elbows and wrists. And as we bring attention to each of these body parts, the fingers, we can invite in softening and ease, relaxation. This is a time to truly let go. There's nothing else to do. Moving down to the pelvis, releasing any tension in the glutes. Letting your knees rest on the cushion beneath you. Moving your awareness and the relaxation and ease down your calves and shins. Allowing the feet to fall to the side. Maybe even if you're barefoot, feeling the temperature of the air on the soles of your feet. Taking a few moments of gratitude for your willingness to show up and take care of your body, valuing your wellness, and for being committed to a life of well being. Staying there with the eyes closed. Noticing how you're feeling. You might notice a shift or a change. You might feel more relaxed or at peace. And taking your time, we'll begin to gently move our fingers and toes. Fluttering your eyelids open very slowly. Taking a few moments to take in the room around you. There's no need to rush. And eventually turning to one side or the other, moving any props you have away. And finding yourself once again in an upright and seated position. Thank you for your practice.